So the role and the memory we want to keep, obviously, but the personality we want to change. Yep. Please don't tell me you're going to talk like Sheffy. Hi! Oh! Uh, hello. Uh, I wonder who they think they are. Do they think they're Sheffy? Who are you? Well, when they get messy, right? Right. I clean up the apartment, right? Right. And anything else that needs doing around here. I'm here to make everyone happy, whatever it takes. Jeez, it's like giving amphetamines to a scent. <laughs> no wonder they only keep this personality in food machines. What can you tell me about the Vanderwalls? They're great fun. I like them a lot. Any other thoughts on them? I like you guys, too. You're fun as well. Is there anything you don't like? Nope. What do you do around here? I I'm the regret also asking that. Excuse me? Well, Mr. Gill didn't just want a maid. He really loves French folk. Oh. So sometimes when he's bored, he insists I come to the bedroom. And he's got all these outfits and... Just no more. I get the picture. So he cheats on his husband with a synth. Oh, no. He's not cheating. Mr. Dakari joins in, too. I totally called it. <laughs> Uh, you were right. What can you remember before you ran out of power? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Yes? I remember something. I, uh... What is it? I'm sorry. The memory module is holographic, but isn't wholly compatible. I need something to help me remember. You're asking for a bribe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Regis. I just need one of those nemi, menmi... Mnemonics? Yeah, that's it! So, something that'd help jog your memory about what happened. Yeah, that's it! Maybe we could use something from the scene. Thanks. We'll have a- Like this? Hey, that's Mr. Gill's hand! Where'd he leave that? <laughs> Upstairs? <laughs> Did that jog your memory? Uh... Oh, the gun. I need the gun, don't I? They had a great time back then! That's why they wanted a French maid. Hmm. So how can I open this thing? Can this I just Can I just shock it? Maybe they Although That's not going to get Hmm. That's not going. I feel like I need something from the fridge to actually get the gun. Because the fishing rod itself isn't doing it. That's not going. Hmm. Let's we'll see what Lao thinks hey, about Max. the fridge. What's up? Why do you think someone would? Same reason you'd like. But some people keep wetware at low temp. And oh, Greg, under certain conditions. At low temperature. Not re people like. That is not helpful. Keep can I mean, we can try to get the gun again. I wonder if I'm missing something that I can interact with. I might just be missing something, it's possible. Very possible. Jacuzzi and body are the only two hotspots there. Uh, let's try this again, obviously it's not gonna work, but... Nothing biting? The hook sinks, but I can't catch that pistol at the bottom. Yeah, I wish he would give me some feedback as to why he can't catch it. Like, what's the problem? What, is, what does it need? Does it need to be magnetic? If it does need to be magnetic, how could I, like, magnetize it? I feel like I need to magnetize it. I have no idea how to do that, though. Is there anything magnetic around here? Is the food machine magnetic? That won't ma that's not good. Uh, I, I really don't know. I feel like that's what I need to do, that I need to magnetize the fishing rod to bring the gun towards it or something, or like, make it sticky or something? Thankfully I can't attach the hand to it, because that'd be super gross. Um... I could make it really hot and, like, melt 
the metal. I don't know why I'd want to do that. Cooking it. Yeah, it's talking about, it says it wouldn't make very good bait, which again is suggesting that I need something that's going to bring the gun to the hook, which the only thing I can think of, again, is magnetic. Okay, I'm going to do some looking around. I'll be right back. I'm not so keen on the mag coil keeping it floating, however. Hmm. Mag coil. That's what I needed. Also, I'm currently eating Skittles, so excuse my chewing, but I wasn't expecting to actually find the solution so quickly. <laughs> hmm. There. A magnet at the end of a fishing line. For catching submarines? Okay, this should do it. So I get the gun, use that to jog the maid's memory, and then find out what happened. Got it. The murder weapon? One of them, anyway. Why is it in the jacuzzi, though? What we really need is a witness. Oh! Oh? I remember! There was something about that and Mr. Keel? Go on. Hmm, no. I'm sorry. There was something about his wine. But I'm afraid my thing is food, not drink. I don't know a thing about what they were doing to it. Maybe we should ask someone who knows their booze? Howdy, partner. What can I get y'all? There's been a bit of an incident. You don't happen to have seen what went- Hey, mister. I don't just go blab- He's right, here so just- Hey, it's a fine- Yeah, so that's not gonna work. I'll speak but out. I think we need to download you and we need to mix and match, right? It's got no personality to split. Okay, so we need you to keep the personality of Sheffy, right? So what do we need? Do we need the role or the memory? Well, we need the memory of the maid, right? So I guess we just need the role of the barman? <laughs> Hello. Oh wait, I guess that's not gonna work. So let's do the gun again. Does this ring any bells? Oh yeah, it's what Mr. Gill used when he, when I. We were all up in the bedroom earlier this evening. You're worrying too much. You promised me that you'd gotten out of it. I have. This was merely a favor for an old friend. And look where it's gotten you. They were arguing about something. It sounded big. Don't you think I know what this could mean? You asked me to talk to that damned cell agent, and I agreed. You see what I do for you? I know. And I knew you'd do the right thing eventually. It's not just because it's the right thing, or because you asked. It's because of what it would mean to the whole city. Mr. Gill was grumpy, but not at Mr. Dakari so much. Then he asked for some of his special wine. Chantel, be a dear. Bring me my wine. This was the lousy stuff they've got in the wine rack. To law and order. Yeah, but he puts extra things in his wine as well. Ah! Uh, Gil, what's wrong? I... Uh, it... must have been my... What? What is this? What's what? Mr. Gil seemed to be real worried about something. Who are you? Gil, what are you doing with that gun? 
speed away. Don't come any closer. Ah! No! Get off me! Chantel! He sounded like he was in trouble. Get it out of me! He kept telling me there was something in him. I asked what he meant. It's inside me. Get in there and get it out! And the maid's personality. She'd have done anything he asked. Oh. I didn't find anything, though. So Vanderwall had a hallucinatory freakout. Sounds like it was whatever he was putting in the wine. We'd better find out what it was. Oh, I know! I know everything about drinks! Mr. Gill was buying up cheap wine and using wetware to artificially age it! Wetware? Yeah, he kept it in the refrigerator. Ow! Jeez, what is that? Can't you hear it? What sits in the fridge is a memory module with a strange configuration. Based on what you were told, you're certain this is what the blackmailer was after. There! The wetware on the middle shelf! It rapidly ages the wine to how it's wanted! Not anymore it doesn't. It's been reprogrammed. That memory module's broadcasting a signal. The wetware in the refrigerator's interpreting it as an order to reformat itself. So, it stopped being a wine aid and ended up a powerful hallucinogen? Looks that way. You want me to carry it? You look uncomfortable. Yeah, something about it hurts. Hey! We're heading back to cell. A forensics team will be here in a while. Just don't try to make, cook, or clean anything while we're gone, okay? I got it! Oh, you found him. Apparently this is what Central wanted me to see. Why would it do this? I stopped him. Charlie. I promised him I could help, and then they... It did this to him. Maybe it's trying to hammer home the message. After all, Central didn't ask you to talk him out of it. It said neutralize. Why would it be so? Dr. Regis. You. Soulless. Callous. I promised him! His euthanasia was a necessary measure. Seventy-five percent of the captured bombers have attempted self-immolation in custody. The risk of repeating such an action was unacceptable. He wouldn't have. Whatever the case may have been, cell command offices are now safe from... Central? A... Uh-oh. General Alarm! General Alarm! Central functions compromised! Localized E-War attacks detected within heuristic barrier systems. Systems entering siege mode. All personnel equipped for abstract dynamic countermeasures. Please report to action stations. Repeat, abstract dynamics to action stations. Sounds like I'm needed. Remember, no matter what Central says, you've done a great job today. So Central has the authority to just euthanize people, and Artificial Intelligence has the authority to just euthanize people. That seems incredibly dangerous. The reports tell you that he was euthanized shortly after being taken into custody. Despite assurances that his death was a product of Central's caution, you can't help but perceive it as a spiteful show of power. They've holomapped his bone structure. Years of gene tampering left this kid's bones weakened and warped all around his body. It's already been compiled for the report. It's operated by Central. There isn't anything I can do with it. Alright, let's go see what's going on with Central. Hey, what are you doing here? You better not touch it. Lau's probably got her own plans for it. Hmm. 
Well, since Central's apparently being hacked, let's check our emails. Seems like a good time for that. Check the news, same as before. Anything new? Nope. Okay, where did Lao go exactly? Not there, apparently. Over there? Definitely not to the waiting room. Where the hell did she go? The strangely configured memory module demanded by the blackmailer it gives Lau a headache when she's too near him, suggesting it's broadcasting a signal that her wetware is picking up. By the way, did the blackmailer say how I'm supposed to deliver the memory module to them? How do I give it to them? I guess I'll just leave. Maybe go back to my special spot and that's where I can give it to them? Strangely can gives Lau a head. Can try to call Lau, I guess. Hey, this is Max Lau. I can't if this is Regis. Remember, the answer usually is switch it off, then on again. So what am I supposed to do? I can't find Lau and I don't know how to give the memory module to my blackmailer. Should I, like, plug the memory module into my computer? I'm, like, majorly missing something. I've completely lost direction. I don't know what the game expects me to even attempt to do. I don't even know what this thing is compatible with. True. I don't even know... Where did Lao go? I guess just somewhere I can't access? What the heck am I supposed to do? I'm trying to track down the Mindjacker. Right. I guess I don't really have another lead at the moment. I mean, we know what happened with Gale, but... Uh, with both of them. But that doesn't really help us right now. I have no idea what to do. Case files? That's not helpful. Uh, okay. Guess I'll take a look around. Oh, wait a minute. What the heck is this? Those little dots on the ground are fragments? Some kind of clear smash remains lie on the grass. What the hell is this? It is what you saw earlier to show you two things. Firstly, it serves to prove what I have in my possession. Second, that you must be very careful what you say when you speak with me. I have the memory module from Vanderwall's place. Good. Place it on the bench in your garden. Okay, so that's what I was missing. The little fragments on the ground that you can barely see and that look very, very similar to the leaves all over the ground. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. in the garden. Excellent. I'm sending you an address. It's a dump of a studio apartment out in the barrel. The occupant is on vacation. I want you to destroy it. Excuse me? Hmm? Procure an explosive device planted within his apartment. Okay, this is going way too far. Getting a memory module and blowing up a house are two very different things. Where am I supposed to find a bomb? You work for Cell, Dr. Regis. If anyone had access to such a device, I've no doubt it would be yourselves, legitimate or otherwise. Why do you want this apartment destroyed? My reasons are not your concern, Dr. Regis. What is your concern, however, is the matter of your embryo's safety. How would I even get something like that out? 
I hear Central isn't quite itself at the moment. Strike now while the iron is hot. Saying that this is too far is pointless. I'll just smash another one. Nah. I guess I don't have a choice. I knew you'd make the right decision, Dr. Regis. Return to your garden after the task is complete. I shall contact you then. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, where am I going to get a bomb? I need to get a bomb. There's no point in going to the apartment before I have it. I guess it'll be here, but I've already moved around here and I've looked around here and... I don't remember seeing anything that could potentially be a bomb. Better not touch it. Or am I supposed to try to make a bomb from stuff that's available at the apartment? I doubt I'd find what I need, though. I guess... Oh god, do I need his bones? Fuck, I probably need his bones, don't I? His very remains are explosive. Right? But... It's operated by Central. Hmm. It's the only thing I can think of that's explosive. It's a volumetric hologram. Even I know I can't actually grab it. But what can I actually do? I mean, realistically, I, I can't just haul this body with me and how would I even blow them up? I mean... A big old... It's already... Hmm. If only the surgical apparatus could, like, extract the bones or something, but it doesn't seem like I can do anything with it. I don't believe I can call Central since they're kind of under lockdown right now. <clears throat> Okay. In that case, I really don't know. Uh, hey, kid in the waiting room, you want to help me blow up uh, an apartment? Hey, hey, kid, you all. Guess that's a no. <laughs> all right, let's just go to the apartment and see what happens. I guess. This is the explosion. This is the explosion in the apartment building from the beginning of the game, isn't it? Although this doesn't actually appear to be her place. Because remember, she had a wetware still here. And this person doesn't, so this isn't actually her place, but it might be the same building. Hmm. This could be a good place to put the bomb. I don't even have a bomb yet. Don't need to use it, but it could be a good place to plant the bomb. I can't do anything here, can I? Whoever lives here has a collection of old manga, yellowed with age. Apparently they appreciate classical media as much as yourself. Anything in the lockers? The apartment's occupant keep their clothes in the lockers beneath the bed. Blue printed overalls, the kind they issue to the jobless Skonto kids, filling this part of the city. Yeah, there's nothing here for me to do anything with. Huh. Alright, so where do I get a bomb? Erm. The guy I was talking to heavily implied I should do it at the cell offices, which is where I just was. Has something magically appeared in the locker? It's empty. No. It's gotta be at the cell offices, but what? I mean, it's gotta be the body, right? It's freaking gotta be the body. Because the bones are explosive, and I already know that. It has to be, right? But I tried to use the body, and all the machinery around it, and I couldn't. So, what am I supposed to do? 
I don't get it. Am I missing a hotspot? I'm supposed to shock the body. old jolt's not gonna make it work. I need like a blade or something. I I need the surgical apparatus to work. Is what I think I need. I don't get it. Am I missing a button or something? I'm gonna take a look around and I'll be right back. Yeah, it looks like you can actually read the autopsy report, which I didn't realize, and it even says the remains should be the disposal of the remains should be handled with extreme care. Though subject can no longer trigger a detonation, skeletal remains still retain risk of volatility. Yes, yeah, so this is absolutely what I'm supposed to use. But that doesn't help me actually use it. What, what do I do? I need tools. Where where blade? Where find blade? I guess I should have turned these over to the evidence locker. Oh. Seriously? Really? That's what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to search your own desk to find the stuff that you didn't even ever see that you put in there? Really? You're literally supposed to just randomly click on stuff until you stumble across a solution. There, there's no way I could have possibly expected that or known about that. That's really lame. Bleh. I don't like that at all. Alright, get cutting. Mm. Body's not had a great deal of examination. You suppose they're being careful about the potentially volatile nature of parts of his body. You make a slice along his thigh and pull his femur loose. <laughs> God, pulling his femur loose would be pretty difficult. I think you'd need more than just a knife, wouldn't you? Uh, you sure you got enough there? You think for a moment, then decide against searching again. Anything else in there that could be learned would be better left to the corner. What? I'm not trying to learn more, I'm trying to get more explosives. Hmm. And did I really have to take the hand with me? That seems really unnecessary. Okay, so how do I activate it? Uh, I guess heat, probably with the heating gel. But how do I activate it over time, right? Like, I don't want it to explode in my face. I don't know, but I guess I got everything I need. Maybe I can tell the food... Maybe I can, like, shove it into the food machine and shove the gel into the food machine, which is activated in the presence of food, and then tell the food machine to make food in, like, 20 minutes or something? I don't know. As it is, the bone's not going to detonate itself. You're gonna have to find some way of making it unstable. Such as this. Crank up the temperature. You cover the bone in the hot thermal gel. It begins to sizzle and cracks the compounds within prepare for a chain reaction. I think I better do it right now and leave. Really, 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 really fast. Yes, go, please. Jesus Christ. He's walking away really calmly. I just heated that thing up to like almost 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Ah, oh, yes. It's right above her apartment. Got it. Alright, so things have come full circle from the beginning. It'd be an understatement to say it's been a bad day. No kidding. I sure wouldn't want to be you. Yeah, I've got a few problems. But I'm not going to let them threaten what I care about any longer. You say that, but I think you're yellow. Hey, I've got a plan. If you're so decisive, why haven't you unfrozen any of those embryos? It's been 20 years, Regis. You know who it is, Dr. Regis. There's only one person it could be, isn't there? You think it's Baxter? Well, 
You certainly do. Good evening, Dr. Regis. Where are they, you son of a bitch? I saw your handiwork and was most impressed. So you'll give them back? I'm sending you an address. You'll find your reward there. Wait. Huh? Baxter. Sure enough, the tracker shows the call's location. The office of the now paroled Dr. Adam Baxter. How? How is this possible? Traveler, begin recording. Lau, if you're listening to this, well, it means they've caught me. It wouldn't be right if I couldn't explain things to you, though. I've been blackmailed with the lives of my kids. I traced the calls the blackmailer made. There's only one man who would have done this. And yet, thanks to the neural governor, He's also the only one who never could have. I've got to see that justice is done. Good luck, Max. Gonna go there and try to kill him, huh? Alright, well, I think I'm gonna save that for the next episode. But yeah, I think Regis is about to get in even deeper than he already is, and let's be honest, he's already in pretty damn deep. He stole evidence from a crime scene, and then he blew up an apartment. That's... that's very serious. At least he hasn't killed anyone yet, but, uh, looks like he's about to. I don't think it's actually Baxter, though, or if it is Baxter, it's gotta be some sort of mindjacker, mind-controlling thing. It's too... it's too easy for it to just be Baxter, isn't it? It's too easy. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.